Well, there's no time like the present when it comes to making sure you have working smoke detectors in your house. That's the message firefighters from some of the state's biggest departments are sending out tonight. Together, they have decades of experience and have seen countless fires. Today, they had a simple but too often ignored message for homeowners. But working smoke alarms and working carbon monoxide alarms will certainly, certainly enhance anyone's chances of surviving a fire if one should start in their home. Authorities have said that working smoke detectors might have saved lives in the Christmas Day fire in Stanford that left three children and their grandparents dead. Firefighters say you should have at least one smoke alarm on every level of your home and inside all of your bedrooms. People should be sleeping with their bedroom doors closed. And if you have one outside in the vicinity of the bedroom, which is what the code calls for, and a fire is inside the bedroom with that door closed, by the time the fire gets big enough to burn down the door to get to that smoke detector, who's ever, who's ever in that bedroom is too late. These experts also say larger homes should have additional smoke detectors and all of the alarms in your house should be connected. So if one sounds, they all go off. The fire chiefs also say this weekend is the perfect time to change alarm batteries while you're setting your clocks forward. Our main purpose for a fire department in any town or any city is to protect the residents who live there. And part of protecting the residents who live there is preventing accidents or these tragedies from happening. And the fire chiefs also say if you don't have the means to buy smoke detectors, contact your local fire department and they might just be able to help you out. In our News 8 online poll question tonight, we want to know if you will change the batteries in your smoke detectors this upcoming weekend. 40% of you say yes, 59% have told us no. You still have some time to weigh in by clicking on to WTNH.com.